Owner of Peter Brook Chocolates here, Tampa, tells me that she has paid these unimaginable bills for months, but she can't do it anymore. We make all the waffle cones in house. Workers at Peter Brook Chocolates here make tasty chocolate creations that have become popular in downtown Tampa. Good. We got a regular hand washing sink that's a three quarter inch sink. One thing uh, owner Jennifer Hill says there. they don't need a lot of is water. Because chocolate and water do not mix. Uh, we use extremely hot water to sanitize the floors and the countertops and things like that. So that's about maybe a gallon of water there. And dishes, of course, so maybe we're using uh, 12 gallons of water there. Yet for some mysterious reason, her water bill skyrocketed last fall. So it went from uh, being a $40 to a $300 to a $600 bill. He'll rent space on the bottom floor of Skypoint Condominium. A management company pays the city water bill for the entire complex, and residents and commercial tenants are supposed to be billed for their share. Hill says she complained of the high bills, and maintenance workers confirmed no leaks. They indicated that the meter was running when I was not in the business and nothing was on and nobody was in here and therefore no water could be running, which is indicative of me being metered for somebody else's water that's being used at that time. Hill tells me she was told months ago this is being looked into, but her latest bill was $738 for 41,660 gallons of water. I'm licensed and I'm permitted by the city of Tampa to only use 40 gallons of water a day. I don't, I don't have pipes big enough to run 40 thousand gallons of water even if I left every pipe on all day every day fearing she'll have to close her store he'll call me so I can do what I do does not seem logical that this chocolate company would have used 41,660 gallons of water in just one month I reached out to the president of the condo association which oversees water metering and he tells me he agrees the chocolate stores water bills don't seem right he promised an investigation to find out what's wrong I'm more than happy to pay my fair share, but I can't pay for everybody else. The Condo Association president tells me the water flow is now being tested and the association wants to make this right because they do not want this chocolate store to move out of the building. It's very popular. Popular, and it just sounds yeah. like something's really off here. What's mm -hmm. the, the company that sends out the bill, the management company? What are they saying about this? Well, I reached out to the management company and they forwarded my calls to the Condo Association. Keep in mind that the retail units here have one landlord and there's a management company that sends out the bills, but they receive those amounts from another management company each condo unit has a meter and they're supposed to pay their share of the bill. Again, the condo association president assures me that they are committed to ensuring that these readings are correct and I will stay on this until there's a resolution because obviously this isn't right. I sense one coming. Mm -hmm. I look forward to your follow-up report. Shannon, thank you. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. The number, 1-855-BANKIN. Or you can always reach her on Facebook. There it is, at WFLA. Shannon.